here's our first big milestone at 18 minutes, 38% state of charge, and that is 100 miles added according to EPA. Um, 100 miles in most cases is enough to get you to the next charger if you plan on um, road tripping. So uh, while I don't consider this the best road tripper in the world, you certainly could do it um, and not have to charge a super long uh, amount of time between uh, charging stops. Our next big milestone is at 50%. Before we get there, I did wanna say my phone overheated because it was so hot being on the dash uh, that I had to switch over to my iPad temporarily. So that's why it's a little blurry and, and hard to read. Um, so 50%, that took approximately 26 minutes to go from 10 to 50%, which isn't terrible. Again, uh, that's a pretty comfortable amount of range to get you to the next uh, charger. And our next big milestone is at 58%, um, which is coming up here in a second. And that gives you 150 miles of range, which is more than enough to get you to the next charger. So as long as you're going, you know, uh, you know, 80 down to 10, uh, however far, and then you just have to charge up to probably 50, 58% tops, and then you can move on to the uh, next charger easy peasy lemon squeezy Our next, next major milestone is 77%, which is almost 80%, but that does give you 200 miles of range, which is great. Uh, only took a total of 42 minutes, which is, is not great, but that's enough you could go eat dinner, quick dinner, come back and uh, be good to go. And then our last milestone here, um, which is the point of this test, is it took a total of 46 minutes to get from 10 to 80%. Now, I did want to say that um, for this charge, I had a station error, so I don't know what that was about, whether my charger was, um, my car was too hot or, or what it was, but ended up plugged back in, worked fine, and was good to go. Uh, so, not sure if there's my fault with my car or EA uh, charger thing, but it's probably my car. Like I said, I had driven it, it was a little bit hotter. Um, than I usually have it when I plug into a station. So I'm gonna say that was probably the issue. All right, so now I wanna take a look at a graphic here uh, showing the speed of charge over time and, and its relation to um, state of charge. So the speed of charge, it started around 61, topped out around 67, 68 for a long time until up, you know, 30 so minutes. And then around, you know, 35 or so minutes, it drops down to 57 hovers there for a little bit of time and then drops down to about 36 to 38. And then right when it's about to shut off, to, when it gets to 80%, it uh, went down to about 26 kilowatts. Um, so it's a nice flat charging curve for, um, you know, at least 60, uh, at least, well, 50% because it's uh, from 10 of uh, charge added, which is really nice. Our problem is the speed is just slow. 
um, which is fine. When I got this car, I never anticipated doing long road trips and uh, trying to break records getting places uh, with the smallest amount of charge time. Um, but again, super impressive. It's good for me to know where these drop-offs are um, because if I'm basically, if I'm above a 60% state of charge and it's only going to charge 57% and it's cheaper for me to use a 50 kilowatt charger, maybe if there is one, than a 150 kilowatt charger, then maybe if I'm at 60, I know, okay, I'm going to try and use a 50 kilowatt charger. Um, another thing that lets me know is probably when I get to 60, you know, 3%, it's time for me to leave. Um, so I wouldn't recommend if you wanted to road trip this, which I wouldn't strongly recommend, but you definitely could do it, uh, is I wouldn't charge over like 62, 63%. So there's that. Uh, it's kind of nice to see that in a chart format. And then lastly, just to show this graphic, I compared two charges, both on EA, and they're basically the same. I think there's like a three or four minute difference of how long it took to charge. So uh, it's nice to see a little bit of consistency, but I thought it was interesting that neither of these chargers reached full 77 kilowatt speed, uh, which I've seen before at the EVgo charger. Um, but, you know, so can't complain. I hope you all found this video um, helpful and informative, especially if you're a Kona owner and you wanted to see your, your charging curve and um, stuff like that. Um, if you have any questions about charging curves and what that means for your road trips or commuting or whatever you're doing, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll respond. I've been getting some comments lately, which has been nice and um, to know that people are watching and uh, have some questions about what, I, what I'm saying. So go ahead, leave a comment down there. Um, like I said, I would like to do some more um, of these charging speed test videos in the future. We are gonna be getting a new EV, which I'm gonna do a whole post, uh, a whole video when that happens. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but we will do that then. Um, but until then, this is what we've got, the Kona Electric, which, you know, as I've said before, I really like this car. Uh, so, you know, it was a good charge session for the most part, except for the, uh, the one error, which I think was my fault, so. Thanks again for watching. If you could uh, leave a like and a subscribe, that really helps this channel um, get out to more people so that uh, hopefully I can help, um, you know, uh, ease people's minds about EVs, maybe convince some people um, to make the transition, showing that it can fit into your daily lifestyle. Again, hope you enjoy this video. Have a great rest of your day.